Christianity. Science of mind is a faith, a philosophy, and a way of life. I never want to feel the faith and know the philosophy without demonstrating as my default way of living. About the author, Tracy Brown, a religious science practitioner, is a past chair of the governing board of Centers for Spiritual Living Worldwide and a recipient of both the Ernest Holmes Award and an honorary doctorate from CSL. This episode's content is from Gems of Wisdom from Black Leaders of New Thought by Unity Ministries. Gems of Wisdom, number 11. Changing Churches by Rev. Dr. Barbara King. Rev. Dr. Barbara King grew up in the Baptist Church in Houston, Texas, and knew at 13 that she wanted to be a minister. She could see herself preaching and was always searching for the deeper meaning of Scripture. I was enraptured with truth teachings, she said in a 2013 interview on Unity Online Radio. As a young woman, she moved to Chicago and a neighbor invited her to church at a time when Barbara was going through a divorce. The church was headed by Reverend Dr. Johnny Coleman. Among many things, Barbara learned was to take responsibility for her own life through her thinking. In the words of Dr. Barbara, I didn't get that in my home and my former traditional church at all. All I got was pray about it. I don't condemn that because that journey through that church, through that tradition, brought me to where I had to look for something else. It's always a stepping stone when you leave one group and go to another. People have a tendency to see it as a bad thing. It's a good situation because it means your soul has grown and that it's ready for continuing growth. I got good learning in the Baptist church, but when I began to go through the process of my personal life and I couldn't get the answers, I was praying and I was on my knees and I literally was begging God because I had been through and taught to beseech God. So I was begging God for an answer when I didn't realize the answer was right within me. When I got to Johnny and uh, she was counseling and teaching, I began to realize I had to take some responsibility for what was happening in my marital life and also realize it was necessary for me to let go and let God. I will always be in new thought because it changed my whole lifestyle. With the background I had in faith and prayer and believing, it just enhanced me to another level, which to this day I will always be on and I will always try as best I can to touch somebody else's life. Your Soul is Ready for Continuing Growth by Rev. Dr. Barbara King The teenager who once wanted to preach grew up to establish the Hillside International Truth Center in Atlanta in 1971, as well as the Barbara King School of Ministry. She has been awarded the three highest honors in the New Thought Movement, the International New Thought Alliance, INTA, Life Achievement Award, the Ernest Holmes Religious Science Award, and the Unity Light of God Expressing Award. The International College of Bishops consecrated her to the office of bishop in 2010 and the first New Thought Minister ever to be named. These quotes were excerpted from the Affirmative Prayer Show hosted by Rev. Beverly Melander on Unity Online Radio in 2013. This episode's content is from Gems of Wisdom from Black Leaders of New Thought by Unity Ministries. Gems of Wisdom number 12. Answering the Call by Rev. Kathy Beasley The newly ordained Rev. Kathy Beasley of Orlando, Florida delivered a keynote address for graduates and ordinates 
at Unity Village, Missouri on June 17, 2019. And this is an excerpt. My charge today is to speak to you about what it means to answer the call. It has taken faithfulness beyond measure for us to remain on a path when we could not see where we were going, to trust in a process that was ever evolving, and to lean on the shoulders of strangers who reach back to encourage us, like Paul in 1 Corinthians 15.58. My dear brothers and sisters, stay firmly planted. Be unshakable and do many good works in the name of God and know that all your labor is not for nothing when it is for God. Today, we are here for God. To answer is to live and be fully alive to every aspect of the journey before us. To answer means we are ready to shift from merely speaking the good news on Sunday morning to finding the willingness to be the good news that inspires the heart of humanity. To answer the call is to realize that our words have the power to bring about change, to speak life into the stillness and to throw light upon the darkness, and to demand joy out of struggle. An act of love. Answering the call of the one who continues to call us is an absolute act of love. When I say love, it is not your everyday, emotive love. It is a radical, soul-stirring, truth-telling, door-opening, mind-changing, revolutionary love that bubbles up and flows out of us in such a way that there is no message we can keep to ourselves and no mountain that will not move out of our way. Here is the thing to know and understand about the ordinance and graduating class of 2019. We have not been standing by quietly, waiting for this moment to arrive. Our response to the call has stirred us to add our voices to the world around us by writing and publishing books, submitting new course uh, proposals, blogging our journey, producing videos to stir the global consciousness, designing spiritual services that speak to the culture within our communities, lead retreats, serve on boards, lead the and planning of organizational celebrations, cultivate social uh, ministries, and step forward into ministerial leadership and inspire communities to change and to grow. We have taken to the streets of our cities and marched for justice, stood in solidarity with other faith leaders in praying for peace, and we have loved with a revolutionary force that has demanded change in the world around us. We are the call made known in our living and in our being. We are the embodiment of the resounding yes and the grand amen. A time of service. My prayer is that we remember always our calling and our response in our living, laboring, and loving, and that we hold each other even closer in our hearts as we run with reckless abandon into the stillness of the awaiting world. Our presence alone will set it ablaze with love and the demand, the demand for peace. Graduates and ordinates of 2019, our time as students and classmates is drawing quickly to a close. Know that our time of dedicated service as compassionate leaders, creative visionaries and ministerial innovators and teachers of a new way, preachers of a living gospel and a relentless doers of good and justice begins now. just listening to Teachable Moments with April Podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on the other social media platforms of ours, which is TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, we'd like to invite you to check out our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash Teachable Moments with April to see all our content in one place and leave personal messages, feedback, and more.